is if you want to express a view on this. See, you're not looking happy about what you're hearing. No, I'm not. I'm not. I'm not happy about the whole kind of humanist um, doctrine that you know they, they want to kind of you know force down people's throats. Yes. Um, I'm asking for <laughs> that's, that's, that's effective. And what's, what, what's, what's funny is like you know they're trying to copy um, the very things that the Bible does. Well, are you worried about the teachers in, teachings in the schools as well? Are I you? think, yeah, I think that's another issue as well. Mm. You know, teaching young people about, you know, basically saying that there's no God. Um, what do you, how I do you think, feel about teaching young people uh, uh, evolution? I think that's, yeah, I think that's a lie. <laughs> um, I genuinely, genuinely think mm. that's a lie. Mm. Um, because if we, if, I, if we are evolving, mm. what are we evolving to? Mm -hmm. um, and I sometimes no, worry. No, 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 no. Can I make this point as well? Mm. If we are subject to matter, time, and space, yeah. then if it's finite, how did it come to be? Mm. Okay, so, so, well, I'll, I'll answer that. I've got about five minutes. Right? Um, no, I, I, want, I want to respond to, to what our friend There's here said. There's quite a lot to go on there. Yeah. Just yeah. respond. But, to but just, what, but just yeah. jumping in very, very quickly. First of all, this idea that humanists and secularists are somehow aggressively forcing <laughs> their ideas. Like, I, I don't know. I've lived in my house for about ten years, and I would say about once a fortnight, someone comes around and knocks on my door and tries to convince me to become a Christian or a Muslim, and on one occasion a Rastafarian. But nobody has ever come around my house to try to demand <laughs> that I adopt secular no, individual values. Now let me, you mock, let me finish. You mock, you insult God. You but then what, like you were when you were no, saying no, about, no, about Andrew being <laughs> way like, no, Let me just move straight on from you there. You have no idea let, about the historical finish, value please. of the Bible. You just. I have a great amount of idea about the historical value of the Bible, like, and it's rather like low. Rude. Um, let me finish. I think that we live in a very messed up society. If we say, aren't relationships great? Aren't long-term relationships great for our culture? Doesn't this add something to our society? Isn't this great? Let's celebrate them. And if this person wants to help people celebrate them because he believes in a, in a, in a person from 2,000 years ago who turned water into wine and, and, and raised the dead and walked on water and all this kind of stuff, fair enough. But if my cousin Sarah wants to do it, who's a lovely, warm-hearted, caring, reasonable, rational individual, well, we couldn't possibly accept that. Well, that is an absolute no, no, Reverend Rose, why do you want Sorry. to stop, uh, and then, uh, John, I think you can respond to this, why do you want to stop her lovely cousin? My, 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 a fictional cousin, Sarah, <laughs> but she's a, she's a, she's a dream. Well, you're just be accusing him of fictional people. <laughs> that, exactly. And you're exactly. making a, does she walk I, on water exactly. as well? I have never said, exactly. I have actually never said that I wanted to stop it. I said I did not understand why they wanted to, well, having said religion is out, why they're trying to... Are you right about to schools? Are you right about education in schools? People t teaching these... Well, well, a lot of, a lot of religion, hang on, wait. A lot of religious no, I mean, people just, believe in secularism. Let's just say that. Schools, but places of learning... Humanist values. Yes, schools, places of learning are good places to have that debate. I have no problem with children wrestling with those issues that they're going to grow up mm. and be a part of in their society. Jonathan no around. anxiety. Yeah, do, well, that's right. It, schools are about education, not yeah. indoctrination. Absolutely. At least they should be. And therefore, the, if this is a view shared by a significant part of the country, it's not my view, but it's other people's view, then it should be represented. And by the way, we religious people actually have to say a sort of thank you to the humanists because the, the earlier debate about freedom of speech, freedom of speech was never a religious value. It wasn't in Judaism, Christianity or Islam. I Unfortunately, we've had to learn it from the secular world. We've taken it on board, yeah, but yeah. We've, this is a, an example where actually we can have some interfaith, interreligious dialogue. <laughs> uh, Douglas has been trying to come. Oh, there's a, we, we've had you, sir. Has anyone else been having Jen, blue shirt, yeah. A couple of points. Firstly, uh, Rose said um, humanism is anti-religious. I'm a humanist. I'm not anti-religious. The, the main point I wanted to make about the uh, marriage thing is there are basically two models you can have. In France, everybody has to go to the town hall, they register their wedding, and then after that they can do whatever they want. Uh, in this country, we don't have that model. And that's fine. Nobody wants to force the French model onto us. But it, it just seems incomprehensible that one group of people, as appears to be represented by, by the Church of England, wants to prevent another group of people, me, from having a, 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 a wedding which is legally recognised. The message to me is that I'm a second-class citizen. Douglas, you want to come in? We started with you right at the beginning of the show. It's like a long way, time ago now. We have, by the way, seen a very good demonstration of why it's important to attain the ability to mock. 
um, and and it is, and I hope we would do it with uh, somebody who has no, had his. Uh, if I just say, um, no, I, I'm, if you're, you're, um, I, I respect you uh, partly because you have actually been willing to say what you believe, and I think that is very important. Because a lot of people don't. Uh, I would hope that incidentally, if it was a devout Muslim who felt as, that we would feel as confident to mock and laugh at your views, I'm not sure we would. Mm -hmm. But if I could just say, uh, you know, the, the thing is that really, I mean. It is appalling that humanists can't uh, uh, marry if they want to. You, uh, one of the things you absolutely know is that when you turn on the television and you see some act of violence, you know it's not going to be a humanist. Marriage is you not for you. Raja, wait, please. Do you, do you have a... I don't know if you do or not, but do you have a thought on this? Uh, humanism in schools, humanist marriages? Are it's, you supportive? It's important to learn about different things, so yeah. That's it. I think that's a very no. neutral view. <laughs> <laughs> Imagine there was. It never ceases to amaze me that people that believe in an omnipotent and omnipresent. You got Muslim, married recently, didn't you? Yes, I did. Yes. Congratulations. Um, thank you. Civil uh, registry and a, a kind of mixed and non-faith wedding. Uh, well, we won't go into that too much, but um, I am now happily married. People that believe in an omnipresent and omnipotent God, who is all powerful, it just never ceases to amaze me that people who believe in that concept are perennially worried about, to quote the gentleman, knocking God off his throne. I don't understand how two chaps, well, a man and a woman, or a man and a man, getting married in some place in who, Preston who or wherever, the, right, are going to knock God off his throne. And it, what it does really tell me is of the terrible, terrible insecurity within people that insist in the certainty of their beliefs, whether it's about cartoons or it's about not recognizing humanist weddings or generally not recognizing something else. I mean, the, the long pause we heard from the lady when asked about whether she'd go to her friend's wedding who's a humanist, that long silence indicates that level of insecurity in one's own selves. And it's, whether it's cartoons or humanist weddings, in fact, because the gentleman was saying that he doesn't believe in mocking a prophet, yet sat there and mocked someone else's beliefs, and in fact, called we have to, to, to leave it there. Thank you all very much indeed. As always, the base continue online and on Twitter. Back next week. Thank you.